here in this building in Kigali, Rwanda, a church service is taking place. An energetic choir is urging congregants to rise to their feet as they sing and dance in praise and worship. It is the first service since the COVID-19 pandemic forced the Edda Church to shut its doors, but there is more to this. This church is a courageous outlier willing to risk condemnation over its open acceptance of LGBTQI worshippers. We realize that we need to create a safe space for um, some of the vulnerable communities that have always been sidelined. And one of those communities, we have LGBTI, um, where they have not been finding, you know, um, church as a safe space. Many LGBTQI Rwandans experienced discrimination at every turn. When popular singer Albert Nabonibo came out as gay, he lost everything overnight. It was here in this church he said he found sanctuary. This woman's story is similar to his. This church offered me something that no one else ever did, acceptance and understanding. I love to sing, but other churches were too judgmental and cannot offer a person like me an opportunity to serve God. I find that opportunity and other people who feel like me here. Rwanda is among a handful of African countries that are signatories to a 2011 UN joint statement condemning violence against LGBTQI people.